Ah, shit. Welcome back to Kissing. No! Sheepy, you want to see this? No! Check this out. Check this out. Watch. She's leaving. Please, Bye. please don't. Please don't do anything to me. Bye. I don't want it. Oh, look, on the envelope, I forgot to write the word rap. I just put Asperger. I have to fix that. Um, the things you notice on the brink of death. Uh, who would have thought? What were yeah, so about? I saved about 40 Valium. I took them all. I downed a bottle Wait, of wine. Wait, so what was suicide attempt number three? That was it. That was suicide attempt oh, number just three. Oh, driving I took about, fast? I, no, no. That was suicide attempt number two. What are you, fucking, uh, uh, the guy from Fast and Furious? Vin Diesel? Thing? No, the guy who died. Uh, Paul Walker's alive! I was, I was gonna you want to believe the media? Is Paul Walker alive? Yeah, he's alive, dude. Is that true? Yeah. It was all just it, a, it it was, was a prank. It was too fast to die. It was die. a social experiment. Oh, shit. It was a social experiment. He wanted to get out of those movies, and he knew the fans wouldn't take it. <laughs> he had to do whatever it was necessary. It, it, was, it was a prank. Yeah. Um, Him and Tupac are living in North Carolina right now. I saw Tupac on 42nd Street selling picket t-shirts, two for $10. <laughs> um, is, is, that, uh, uh, is that your boy, uh, Eric Andre? No, that's... um. Eddie Murphy's brother, what the fuck? Charlie Murphy, that's Charlie Murphy. Uh, he told that joke to stand up in, in um, season three of the Chappelle show <laughs> after Dave Chappelle left. Um, oh no. Uh, yeah, so I took 40 Valley and tried to kill myself. Got saved by a hero. I wish I died on him. Fuck him. Yeah, you always um, talk shit about how you hate this hero who saved your life. Like, it's like a. Fuck him. They, they got like one little syringe. They just like, boop, and the Valium is cured. Really? Yeah. Valium is fucking easy as shit. So Eminem's full of shit. When he's talking about oh, was he addicted to Valium? Yeah, he talks about that all the time. No, you can get addicted to Valium. Yeah, Valium is very. Addictive. I know how to do this. You gotta, you gotta. Valium, hold these Valium up. is the equivalent yeah. of alcohol. Like, uh, if if well, I went to the doctor and be like, I'm a recovering alcoholic, he'd be like, All right, well, let's get you some Valium, and then you won't have cravings for alcohol anymore. But uh, I know exactly what's gonna happen if I get a Valium prescription. It's just gonna be like, hey, Fuck, how do I I'm do a that? Valium. No, you put, you stand on oh, the fucking. You're a genius. You're right. Stand on the fucking, and then I'd just be like, Oh wow. I trade with my alcoholism for Valium. Well, at least I won't gain weight. So what's it like being on Valium? Oh, I can't jump. It it doesn't work on me. I'm actually immune to Valium because Valium is a sleeping drug. And, um, and you don't sleep. I can't fucking sleep. I can't fucking sleep. I have taken six Valium before and not gone to sleep. Jeez. I've taken uh, six Lunesta before and not gone to sleep. I've taken six um, Ambien and not gone to sleep. And my mom takes half an Ambien. And I'm so fucking jealous. She takes half an Ambien and she starts fucking hallucinating. Literally hallucinating. She's, I remember one time she was like, you can't, you can't go in the room. They're building a cage. Oh, I finally you made it. You can't go in the room. They're building a cage. And we're just like, it's time to go to bed, mom. <laughs> yeah. It's time to lay down. And she's like, no, you can't. They're building a cage. And I'm just like, why can't I have that in my life? Oh God, I gotta fight Puss in Boots. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh my god! Can you fight Puss in Boots? You know how to fight Puss in Boots? Look at him, he's yeah, going fucking this. berserk! Give me the fucking uh, wait control. until I die. Oh, I gotta get him. Okay, you just gotta dodge him and then- Oh my fucking god, that cuckin' cat! That cuckin' cat. Hey, what's the Estrapo for this episode, buddy? Um, Is Monkey Jones still gay? Even though all of you voted- FUCK! Yet? Here, you can try it. The cat is crazy, Donkey, you're right. When did we give up on reading the uh, the narration? About the first fucking narr narration scene? Are we gonna do this whole game or can we stop after we beat Puss in Boots? Because I'm getting pretty tired from this wine. And from you whining about, oh, I was depressed all my life. I tried to kill. Pathetic. Why don't you just get a girlfriend like I did? It's easy. In high school, I wasn't depressed. I just got a girlfriend, dude. It was easy. Because I resent women? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Like, just, just like, stop being depressed. Like, have you ever tried, like, just having happy thoughts? Like, did you even try? Have you ever tried having period sex? Uh, uh oh. Okay, my turn. What did you do to hit him? Me! Did, did yeah, she's to, on my side! Oh, look at her! Did you try to pick him up to damage him? What'd you do? Yeah, you just pick him up. And that's the B button? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I can't see, because, like, the, the microphone arm is obstructing my view, so it's kind of hard for this one, but I got it. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh... Oh, there he goes. He's bouncing around. He's Hello, everybody! Oh, I'm bouncing. Monkey Jones! Okay. Period sex is an abomination. Shit. Welcome to Monkey's Declassified Fuck. Period Survival Guide. <laughs> if your girlfriend is on her period, you obviously don't want to stick your dick in a vagina. That's true. Because who wants to do that? So I'm going to give you the top Fuck. five tips Fuck. on how to avoid sticking your dick into a bleeding pussy. Tip number one. Leave your girlfriend. 
if your girlfriend has her period, then oh, you shouldn't. I got him. Then you shouldn't have to stand for that. There are six billion other women out there who don't have their periods uh, that you could date. Okay. Well. Tip number three. Okay. Ooh, I gotta play this puss in boots. Hey, now I want to keep playing. Pretend you have herpes. Whoa, if you tell your girlfriend you have herpes, oh, she'll be less likely to ask you for sex. Okay. <laughs> keep going. You, I'm gonna turn this into a script and actually do it, so keep Tip going. Tip number four. Come out as gay. If you come out as gay, then your woman will know that it's a dead-end road to try and get some cock from you. It's so easy she's to already, write a monkey script. She's already seeing somebody else, so she'll make her side guy her main guy. Is that right? <laughs> I'm asking her. <laughs> she can barely even get one guy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, how do I get this app? I'm right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm desperate. And she's a sheep. Thanks. Oh, you would fuck a sheep? <laughs> You've been shitting on me un unintentionally this whole fucking week. No, I'm like, I'm like, uh, shit on me. <laughs> what? I'm desperate. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's a revenge for all the shit you said. What has she said about you all week? She's like the kindest person. I can't remember. Like she would say. Oh, yeah, it must like have been that. really heartbreaking. Oh, I was like, yeah, man. I no, I was like, I was like, man, I really, I, I dropped like two points with my glasses. Shit! And she's like. Well, why don't you get nicer glasses? Like, <laughs> that's what she said. Doug, you gonna tell me that's not what she said? That's a good tip. No, it isn't. I don't think they can hear her on the other side of the room. She said, uh, that's a good tip. Women are- I've heard that one before. Women, oh! women- Oh! High five, yeah! Well, You've heard it, but no. never while she's on her period. No high five for that one. Women are the fucking evilest to women. Women can- uh, Sheep over's a fucking trap, first of all. It doesn't get her period. Don't even know why it's relevant. She has a dick. That's why I, Is that a secret? She bay. You wanna have a three-way? She bay. <laughs> three dicks in a three-way, baby. She bay. She bay. Uh -oh. Um, What was I talking about? I, I had some bit I was doing. Great. Your bits are great. Thanks. Are we gonna do another Eric Andre quote? You ran out. Monk, God damn it! Monk's penis? Yeah. Have you been lying dormant for years? Um, you know what? It hasn't been lying in a pool of fucking blood. That's a fact. Wow! You denied fucking a pussy. Congratulations. 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 Congratulate. Real men pleasure their woman every day. It's called a tongue. Your dick don't work. Am I Get a used to man it. or am I a monkey? Am I a monkey? Learn how if to I'm finger. I'm a monkey. Take your two index I'm fingers. I'm not getting bloody finger. I'm not finger painting anytime soon, boys. Take your two. No, take your no. middle and index finger. And it's not that episode of Rugrats Do when Angelica's got red-handed hiding the fucking tricycle in the in the barn and the balloon. They tie in. They tie. What's the name of her of her doll? Cynthia. They they tie Cynthia to a fucking balloon because they think Angelica did some shit. Turns out she didn't do it. That's what you're doing right now. My Cynthia is up in the sky like an up balloon because your ass is accusing me of finger painting when I know I didn't fucking do it. Because Angelica was just finger painting for the babies. She did not even touch the fucking barn. She did not hide the tricycle. You remember right, that monkey. episode? All right, monkey. You remember that fucking right, episode? Monkey, monkey, that was some hard you. shit. I'm going to tell you what you need to do to keep your woman, all right? Take your middle and index Yeah, oh, finger. if I need advice on keeping a woman, I'm sure I want it from fucking <laughs> Asperger. Yeah, go ahead, give me this fucking sage advice over here, pervy sage. It was a what long, do you got to say? It was a long distance relationship. I couldn't keep What her the fuck? Because she wasn't getting laid. Wait, this ex that you're freaking out about was long distance? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn, you weren't even fucking her. Yes, I was. Long distance fuck? Yeah, how long was your dick? Um, about 88 inches? <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Year fuck, and a half, sheep. Fuck 13 times a day. No, how many? 22 times a day? Uh, I drove about 14 hours to get laid. Jesus Christ! I did it very regularly. Why didn't you just take a, a plane? I'm not fucking made of money! <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that shit. Wow, long distance relationship, all this time. And no wonder why you kept that a secret, that's just sad. Get a, get some local pussy, dude. Texas had good pussy. Everything's bigger than Texas, big vaginas are good for you. You don't want big vaginas. Y yeah, you want some big period sex, you want some big Texas vagina period sex. Dude, dude, 
I'm I'm gonna lose my mind if you motherfuckers come in saying period sex is disgusting. You have no idea how much hornier they are on their period. Who cares? Like again, Who fucking cares how horny she is? It's about how horny I am. If they're more horny, they're more likely to want to please you. Not true. Not true. When would a woman ever want to please me? Never. Name one time. I can't. It hasn't happened. It's not true. It's fake news. Fake nudes. On Snapchat, fake news. Shape. Yo, you know what? You know what? If Asperger is down to clown with a long distance relationship, then we need to use this show to get him a girlfriend, because evidently he'll date a girl no matter where she lives. If she lives within 14 hours of the United States, he'll fucking date her. So ladies at home. Go to go to your Snapchat. Type in Asperger Rap. Is that still your name Asperger on Snapchat? Asperger Rap. If you're interested in this this 23 year old who looks like he's a 40 year old businessman with a, a very keen star beard, then hit him up. Give him that long distance At relationship. At least I don't have pubic hair on the bottom of my fucking chin. How is any of that supposed to be offensive to you? I was giving you compliments to help the ladies want to fuck you, and now he's touching my beard. If you can even call it a beard. Um, no, really. If you want to date Asperger, he is so goddamn desperate that he'll date some random chick from Snapchat. He likes faces more than tits, so just send a picture of your face if he thinks you're cute. He only wants white chicks with dark black hair. If you fit this description, oh if, if you're between 18 and 24 and you fit this I description, got white fever. and you want a long distance relationships with a failed rapper named Asperger who's friends with Monkey Jones. Fucking Snapchat his ass. I guarantee you, you're gonna get at least one, and you'll be like, "Oh no, it's not gonna be fair to her, cause I'm I'm such a uh, bad." It's person. not fair. I yeah. can't date. I'm not over yeah. my ex. It's not fair to yeah. the woman. It's not. Yeah. That's well, actually true. So how are you? Sp when are you gonna be over her that you can date somebody again? Never. I don't know. Never. It's never gonna fucking happen. It's it's come a long way. It really has. Yeah. Like no joke. But you can't it's long distance Snapchat some bitch. You think you think I'm not getting like Ooh, some shit? What? Like I'm talking about relationships, what? dude. That's a secret. What? You guys telling secrets over there with Sheepy? Hey, I'm done playing this. Can we, t can I we got, turn this off? I got sources, man. Can we turn this off? Is it somebody in the Discord? Is it Princess Natlord sending you nudes? I got a secret. Not a real princess. Turns out, probably a dude. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Me, me and uh, Sorry that me we and couldn't Monkey be are going to continue this conversation off camera. <laughs> I'll be um, sure to record another episode after he leaves, telling you everything he said. So, and now he doesn't want to say anything. You guys ever get wine stains in your teeth? I got Harvey wine stains in my teeth. I took a drink of wine, it's just straight up black now. By the way, I should do this bit here! Alright. Uh, somebody in the comments. Somebody in the comments. Okay, we were gonna go do stand up, but Asperger pussied I out. I pussied out. I pussied out because I would show routine. my face. I would show my face. I wanted to go to Why an open mic. Why is your mic. arm on me for this? I wanted to go to an open mic. God damn it. God damn it. Go ahead. Tell your open damn, mic joke. Sheep, you, your boyfriend's got some nice breasts. God damn. I'm ready to switch to apple yeah. juice. I'm done with this fucking wine. <laughs> What's your joke? I wanted to go to a, do a stand up and I wanted to, um,. It would. We gotta do this. We gotta do this next time. We gotta do this next time. You're gonna actually go up I on think, stage and do it. I think I'll do it next time. I think. By the time depressed. you do, it won't even be a relevant joke anymore. Tell it here on the show, and we'll see if the all right so, audience Strapple, is this stand-up routine funny. Would you boo him off stage if you heard this? We. I wanted Monkey Jones and she. I wanted she to hold the camera and Monkey Jones to come to my stand-up bit, and I wanted to. I, I would probably open it up like, "How's everybody doing tonight? Y'all having a good time?" Wow, classic joke. This is uh, <laughs> this, this is my first time doing stand up. Um, my ex left me, so I decided, you know, maybe maybe instead of just wallowing in alcoholism or whatever, maybe I should chase my dream. I wanted to say, if I could give you some tips, I'd say cut out all of that, go straight to the Harvey Weinstein joke. Just you go can't, straight you can't, to it. Nobody can't. gives a fuck that you got ghosted. You can't. You gotta make it seem real. You gotta make it seem like a real stand up bit. See, Be careful she, with she that agrees. wine. This carpet does not want to get a wine stain. She agrees. She agrees. Hey, but, um, chug that before you spill it, because that's not a it's it's not a glass that you should be drinking liquids out of. It's like a mar it's like a like a frozen drink glass, right? What are those called? Like a daiquiri? It's like a martini daiquiri glass. You got to be careful. Get uh, closer to the mic. Tell your stand up so I can quit this shit. 
So I, I, w- I wanted to uh, base my stand up off Louis C.K., but uh, <laughs> apparently he's not uh, he's not fun to talk about anymore. Um, yeah, it's actually. Pretty, I'd say even cut that part out. It's actually pretty it's crazy. Just, it's too long in the beginning. It's actually pretty crazy. Have you guys Have you guys read the news lately? Like, it seems like rape is is America's favorite pastime. Um, Boo. Har- Harvey Weinstein was in the news a lot. Does Does anyone remember the name? See, if you come back in six months and do that, it's not going to be a relevant story anymore. We We can pick anybody. Does, does anyone, it has to be Harvey Weinstein. It has does, to be. Does anyone remember the name of, of the woman who broke the Harvey Weinstein story? Anybody? Sheep? Mufki? No. Go ahead. You can talk. No, who was it? Exactly. Because she didn't get famous off of sucking that Jew cock. Everybody else in Hollywood has been swallowing his jizz for every fucking Oscar, and they haven't said a word. You know why? Because they're making the millions. They're living it up in Beverly Hills with the big houses. But the moment a woman doesn't get famous after swallowing that jizz, she decides, you know what? Maybe Hollywood's a little bit bad since I didn't make it after swallowing some steamy hot Palestinian or uh, Israeli jizz. <laughs> Israeli jizz. And you know what? Now all of a sudden every B list actor is like, you know what? I got touched too. The fucking, uh, what, what's the name of the actress from Kill Bill? I don't know. Uma, Uma Thurman. Thurman. It's just like. I hate you, Harvey Weinstein. I wasn't the lead in two Quentin Tarantino movies and the producers. Uh, that had nothing to do with you uh, feeling me up. Uh, you know. Is this just? Is this still the stand-up routine? And then I wanted Mumkey to uh, heckle me. Uh, so go ahead and heckle me. Get off the stage, you suck! Who the fuck said that? I did! Who the fuck said I'm that? I'm not fucking here! Why don't you come up here and say that to my fucking face? Walks Why don't you come up here and say that to my fucking face? Walks upstairs, sound effect. Look at this fucking he- heckler, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this fucking guy. Look at the pubes on his Look chin. Look at the fucking heckler. I mean... No wonder why they call him monkey. He looks like a monkey. I mean, look look at this fucking heckler. My God. Just... God damn. Yeah. And then the joke is that we start making out on stage and she's filming the whole thing. No, we don't need to practice. I'm gonna, our oh. first kiss is going to be on stage. We don't need to practice it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody help me. They can't see all these things you're doing I to me. I need this in my life. God damn, these so, supple breaths. So, vote in the straw poll. Do you think that's a funny stand-up <laughs> bit? Because uh, Your audience? Yes. The moment I mentioned Harvey Weinstein in a joke. He just seems so confident, but I don't think a single person has laughed the last 18 minutes of this episode. <laughs> so even our audience is not... It's not going to say, oh, yeah, that's a good stand-up bit. Go do that. Nobody. Fuck your girlfriend while she's on her period. She wants it for once.